Hello Mulis, welcome back to my new sessions for MuleSoft RPA. So you all know that MuleSoft RPA is a new tool that has been uh, uh, released by MuleSoft and uh, I wanted to start few sessions. I am just learning with you guys so whatever I have learnt I am trying to share through these videos. So that's the reason I am starting MuleSoft RPA for beginner sessions and uh, this is session 1. Uh, we will see what MuleSoft RPA is first of all we will see like what is MuleSoft R what is RPA and then we will go to MuleSoft RPA and we will see the life cycles so as I just said like I am just learning with you so whatever knowledge I have on RPA I am sharing it with you if there are any mistakes or if you see any issues you can always feel free to reach out to me on LinkedIn or you can comment on the sessions so without wasting time let me get started so before going to MuleSoft RPA, let's discuss what is RPA, okay? So, modern companies, you know, the advanced companies or the companies recently face a constant need to increase both the employee productivity and digital competitiveness. But what is happening is all these standard workflows that they have, they remain riddled with the time consuming manual tasks. So this is where most of the companies are facing a big challenge just because they are wasting their time in uh, manual tasks. So these manual tasks are taking away time. So eat away at an employee's ability to focus on more complex tasks. All right. So to resolve this problem, a concept called robotic process automation or it is in short called as RPA emerged in early 2000, early 2000. So to eradicate this complexity of uh, doing manual task, they came up with a solution called RPA robotic process automation. By now you must understand in simpler words, we are going to automate the process here the process means the manual task whatever you are doing is called as process so to process this uh, to automate this process they came up with this technology called RPA so what is the purpose of having RPA as I always say in my tutorials right whenever you are going to learn something you have to know its purpose too so what is the purpose of having an RPA right so to automate this traditional manual task whatever you are doing using a program called robot okay we call this so whatever whatever you are trying to automate you need to write some code isn't it so that program it is called as robot so that's why it's called robotic process automation and these robots are designed are designed to imitate a human user when carry out, carrying out their designated uh, tasks sorry there is a spelling mistake but it is designated tasks and this is called as process just imagine uh, there is a requirement where you need to type the information that is provided by a patient on so when you go to a hospital we will be giving them some forms to fill out okay they will fill out their name contact details etc but the receptionist will try to enter these details into their system so this is a manual task right so they have to look at the form they have to read it and then type it and store it so this is a manual task and it is a time consuming task now we need a require we have a requirement where we need to automate this all right so we are going to write a program to automate this and that program is called robot and these robots are designed to imitate a human user here in our use case the receptionist is a human user so our program will try to imitate like the receptionist so what is receptionist doing it is looking at the form she is look he or she is looking at the form and trying to fill the fields so this program which we are going to create or that is called as process here we call it as process so this process will try to do the same work which a reception receptionist is doing all right so now what is it with the process right 
The process can include interacting with open opening the applications or extracting the data or even manipulating the computer mouse. Imagine she is moving, the receptionist is moving like opening a dashboard or opening a database and looking at she is typing something. Remember, uh, just imagine yourself, you are doing, you are a receptionist, you are looking at the form, then typing it or opening something, clicking on something, all these actions like opening some applications like database or extracting the data from somewhere or whatever you do with your mouse or the keyboard right all these are included in this process that is why we call it as a process by completing these processes then the bots the robots in short we call it as bots have the ability to save employee time and increase the efficiency of repetitive tasks why because they can be performed with both faster and more reliably so imagine once this process is created okay whatever whatever computer mouse clicks or extracting data all this stuff once it is created what we are doing this process will be automated and the time the time that we take or the the time that receptionist takes will be saved and it will be like within seconds or even like one minute and it will be faster and more reliable humans can make mistakes but not the computers whatever you code is what it will be appearing over there as i always say so in this way it is more faster and more reliable than a human being so what you have to understand by now is like uh, whatever the action so that is why in mules of rpa for me it looked like more kind of if doing photoshop right you do all this so imagine like you know i have to go to one website which means i need to open my google chrome okay open my google chrome enter something and if you want to log in you have to enter username password all these actions i will consider these things as actions like opening chrome moving my mouse to maximize the window then trying to enter a url and trying to hover my mouse on username enter my username then go hover my mouse to password type my password and then click on enter all these mouse actions keyboard actions everything will be automated so we will be creating process and those process will help to automate this process with more faster and more reliable way now we have spoken about what is rpa and what is its purpose but why mulesoft rpa right the main reason is mulesoft rpa was designed with the user in mind just imagine here the user is your receptionist okay just mulesoft things like what user is doing what she is expecting or he or she is expecting so they have designed in a way by keeping them in mind or the programmer in mind so Mulesoft RPA achieves by employing a single unified platform to manage the full RPA lifecycle. If you know about Mulesoft, if you are new to Mulesoft, you can always watch my Mulesoft for beginner sessions. But in Mulesoft, we know that we have some uh, fully managed API platform, which we call it as AnyPoint platform. Just like AnyPoint platform, which is like API managed like we have full managed api life cycle we also have like full rpa life cycle and that is called rpa manager this approach so when i say full life cycle i will explain you in the next slide what what i what do i mean but here what we are trying to say is this approach enables companies to develop manage and monitor every deployed robot all in one place you don't have to go to different different tools you don't have to use different different tools you don't have to use different technologies to develop robots or to manage to monitor all development management monitor can be done using mulesoft's rpa manager okay that's the reason why that we are calling it as unified platform most importantly it can be automated using clicks but not code that's why i use this word like i feel like i am doing photoshop so you will you will be definitely having fun in doing that instead of writing codes you are trying to do like using clicks and uh, we will see more on hands on but yeah we can say that you know it can be automated using clicks but not the code that's why i love mulesoft rpa so as i said like i just started the course so we will try to learn more things in near future that means what does it means 
that all the individuals who are familiar with the task but don't have coding skills can automate the process without even having to wait on IT right if you're not a developer if you're not if you're not a person who knows coding if you're not from coding background if you have some different process don't worry this is something different Mulesoft RPA is something different because we are using clicks than writing a code okay so don't worry about from which background you came you can always get started with our sessions all right so now I am going to show you the Mulesoft RPA life cycle. I am not going to explain in detail about all the life cycles in this PPT because I, I usually don't like going through slides. So I will try to minimize the slides. So each life cycle I will try to explain when it comes into the picture. But very quickly to start with we will start with software installation that is very first phase so before even designing the robots or developing the robots first we have to choose you know first we have to download the software so software installation is that process once the software installation is done then we have a phase called access and user management where you will be creating users roles um, for example who are the developers who are the project managers you can create the roles just imagine that access user management is similar to access management in any point platform the only thing which is not similar is software installation but imagine like if you are using MuleSoft any point studio installing any point studio or creating any point platform account is comes under software installation and access user management in RPA lifecycle which is similar to access management in any point platform Form. next comes the evaluate phase so evaluate phase I will explain in the next session but even before designing phase we don't have this phase in any point platform mules of any point platform because here we are having adding additional phase called evaluate phase the reason why we are adding this phase is even before designing even we are before developing a robot first we have to evaluate our, ourselves whether this particular task is really need to automate okay for example you are doing something like you know you are processing a file like you know where you are processing a file where you need to for example you need to convert one pdf and put the data into a database and this is a one time task per month and it hardly takes five minutes so for this one time format one time thing for which is consuming five minutes of time in a month we don't have to really create a you know robotic process or we don't have to create an rpa process to automate this process because that will not help to that will not help the business to save its time or money because we are investing money on mulesoft rpa which means we are buying license there should be a reason why we have to automate the process so uh, we will be discussing more about evaluation ev evaluation process in the evaluation life cycle and then starts the design phase okay once the evaluation is done then we will go with designing the bots then build the bots building is nothing but the development phase then once it is developed as usual we are going to test it once it is tested then we will be deploying it once it is deployed we will be managing and monitoring now if you try to compare any point platform with MuleSoft RPA lifecycle software in installation is something new in RPA lifecycle access user management is similar to access management in any point platform evaluation phase is again it is new in RPA then design phase is similar to design center in api lifecycle management where we create api specifications in design center here we will be creating designing of rps and then build phase is nothing but the development phase which we have like you know development phase in api lifecycle where we develop apis using any point studio here you will here we will be using rpa builder once it is done we will be testing those bots similarly we have m units and unit testing in any point platform then we will be deploying them in rpa manager Sim how it is like similar to deploying our apis in runtime manager and then we will be managing and monitoring in rpa lifecycle we also have managing and monitoring in any point platform like any point monitoring etc and etc so try to relate this so i will stop here and i will try to explain each phase in each session so that it will be easier to understand now i will stop here and i will try to show 
so unlike unlike any point platform you won't be getting a free account for mulesoft rpa manager so in case if you can ask you can either ask your organization to provide the access or if you are trying to explore or if you are trying to make some sessions or if you want to speak on mulesoft you can always reach out to mulesoft community they will provide you a account for this but now for now i have my account rpm manager so i will log in into it so this is how it looks like rpa manager looks like so different different faces on my left side just like any point platform we have right so different uh, different features we have here process evaluation process automation monitoring dashboards etc so before getting started with evaluation phase here we have like software installation as our first 